Hey there, astronomers. How are you today? Ooh, it sounds like we're ending the week on a good note. Have any of you gone outside to observe the sky today? <gasps> Me too. I saw the sun, some clouds, and earlier, I even saw the moon. It was a little weird, but I think I understand why I could see it. What did you see? Ooh, sounds like we saw the same sky. That's because we're in the same area on Earth, San Francisco. Let's see where we are on the globe. Let's see, United States, California, ha, San Francisco, right here. This globe is a lot bigger than the one on the model uh, that also has the sun and the moon. It's easier to see San Francisco and France are far from each other. Do you remember why we're even studying the Earth in these two places? Yes, we've been trying to answer this question. Let's read it. Why doesn't our sky always look the same? Great job reading that with me. Well, why don't we go ahead and review our week to see if we can answer our question? Hmm, let's reflect. Scientists, what did we do earlier in the week? Oh, that's right. We watched a video clip of a conversation I had with a friend, and then we launched our question. But why did I ask that question? You got it. In the video, it was daytime for me and nighttime for my friend, and yet we were talking to each other at the same time. We have an eight-hour time difference between here and France, and that's quite a difference. What did we learn about the next day? Mm-hmm, that's it. We observed the model of the Earth, Sun, and our Moon. Let's reread my notes from that day. You can take out your notebook and read from it if you took notes, too. The earth always spins, the, the sun stays lit, the moon spins with the earth around the sun. Okay, I remember now. So we learn how we move around the sun and that it always stays lit. Okay, what do you remember learning on the third day? Absolutely, I showed you pictures of the sun over my house and then drew it. What did we notice? Mm -hmm. It looked like the sun moved around my house. But using the model, we realized that it wasn't the sun that was moving. It was us. <laughs> Great job, scientists. You're remembering so much of our learning. Now, what did we learn about yesterday? That's right. We learned about different astronomers over time. We learned about Chinese, Mayan, and Polynesian astronomy. Did you already know about any of them? Which one? Oh, how cool. I had known quite a bit about Mayan astronomy before the lesson. It was fun to learn about even more cultures that study the stars. Anyways, astronomers, can we answer our question now? So why doesn't our sky stay the same? Mm, yes, that's right. The Earth spin around, spins around the sun. Let's see that again on our model. All right, so the Earth spins around the sun. All right. And when it's nighttime, do we flip a switch to turn off the sun? No, we don't. The Earth spins, and when we're facing the sun, like right now, we get daylight. When we're not, we get the moon and the night sky. Scientists, we should write all of this down in our notebooks. Let's write a title and page number. If you hadn't noticed, I stopped adding dates to my entries. I did this in case some of you did your lesson on a different day. Anyway, our title will be Conclusion, the Sky. Let's get to it. I'll take this off. I'm going to put our question at the top so I can remember what I'm answering. Conclusion the sky. All right. Great. So I wrote our title, and now we should answer the question. We mentioned the earth spinning and the sun being lit at all times. 
I'll write two sentences for that. And I'll actually move our globe. So the Earth constantly, that means always, constantly spins around the sun. Now I'm going to write about the sun in orange. The sun is, and I'm going to write this in big letters to show how important it is, always, and underline, <laughs> lit. Unlike mine. <laughs> and what else did we say earlier? Ah, yes. We said that it's daytime when we face the sun and nighttime when we don't. Let's get that written down. Daytime when you face the sun. We face, it's daytime when we face the sun and nighttime when we are not. All right, and we are not facing the sun. It's daytime when we face the sun and nighttime when we are not facing the sun. Let's underline not. There we go. Great job, scientists. You know, let's just reread our whole conclusion to make sure it sticks. The earth constantly spins around the sun. The sun is always lit. It's daytime when we face the sun and nighttime when we are not facing the sun. Awesome job reading that with me. Now I totally understand why it was nighttime for my friend. He lives in France, and that is far away enough for us to face different directions. When San Francisco faces the sun, France will likely be getting dark, and vice versa. Or at least during certain times of day. I think it's possible for both places to have daytime at the same time but we'd have to learn a little more about the Earth and seasons for that. I wanted to show one more thing to all of you. I had somebody ask me about the shape of the Earth. Why does it look flat to us when it's so big and round? And I asked some scientists to help me come up with a way to explain, and they showed me a model. Would you like to see how to explain it? Great, so you just need a large ball and a pair of eyes. <laughs> So you're supposed to hold it up so close so that you can only see the ball. Okay, and you kind of want to cover the sides a little bit. <laughs> so look for a line or a dot on the ball. And when you're looking at it, think, does it look a bit flat to you? Hmm, huh, it does. Now, push it away uh, from you until it's farther. And how does it look now? A little more round. Now push it away some more, and you might need some help with this one. And at one point, it should start to look like a ball again. This was the model that my scientist friends explained to me, and it helped me understand things a little bit better. Well, scientists, our time together is up. What did you enjoy learning this week? Ooh, I enjoyed learning that as well. I learned a lot about the sky with you. Please enjoy the rest of the show. We have great things planned. See you later.